WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently, of all U.S. indices trading to the downside, the Dow's off 360, 1%. The S&P, 9 tenths or 39 points. The NASDAQ, 8, 9 tenths as well, 130 points. Russell's off 1 and a quarter percent, 25 points to the downside. Semi's down 65. They're printed out at 33.81. Gold's up 16 bucks, 19.37 is its print. Silver's trading up 29 cents, 25.20. Lights we crude up 450 or 113.77. Let's go spend a little time with our indice charts out there. Momentarily, you'll see these white panel charts, the upper left-hand side. You will see the Dow. Now, the Dow needs to close today above 34,480. We're at 34,449. If price closes below 34,480. It, the TD9 count pattern that's in play out here will vanish. It'll go away because it will not have met all of the requirements. So that's really the level to watch. If price closes above 34,480, then you have a valid TD9 count top. Now, the high could still come tomorrow, but forming a TD9 count top below TD9 count breakdown resistance, which is at 35,431, is usually a bearish message. I mean bearish directionally speaking. And that would then say that price should go seek out its oscillator and change line currently in the 33,829 level. We do not have a topping signal inside the S&P 500 with the topping pattern, I should say. We may have a signal and that price got back to its breakdown level of 4526. So that's where a counter trend rally could end. And then if you go down to the spot volatility index, you're going to see that yesterday was bar number nine. Today's the bar following them, bar number nine. So this is going to have a confirmed TD9 count top out there. Normally, I say that price will go target its oscillator and change on it. Maybe that's what its intention is. But the first place where price should target inside the spot volatility index would be the 50-day X exponential moving average 2651 back up top the ndx 100 no top in place and inside bar so to speak says the price wants to make a move to 14 769 i believe we looked at apple and the uh, longer term looked like it wanted to move higher so you know as Apple goes, maybe the NDX 100. The Russell 2000, even though it's struggling, it's just been in a sideways consolidation, sub towards the upper end of that consolidation. The semi is certainly pulling back. They could pull all the way back to 3276. No topping signal there. Uh, folks, uh, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White, he's back in town. He's up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home, and I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Thanks so much for joining us.